Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create an under the sea painting. We're going to be using colored tissue paper, temper paint. We're going to be using um, stencils for the silhouettes and maybe a little bit of glitter for some bubbles. So um, this is what it looks like. We're going to have very light tones in the middle, medium, and some darker versions. So tints, the hues, and the shades of different colors. So on your watercolor, how we begin is I'm going to take some tissue paper, and I'm going to just kind of loosely wad it up. I'm going to submerge it in some water. And I'm just going to lightly go around in a circle. We're using cool colors, the colors of the sea. This blue color here is really pretty. So just you can just use your hands to submerge in the water. And just gently press the color tissue onto the watercolor paper. And get that surface colored. <clears throat> when this is dry, this away. I'm going to use uh, some temper paint. Shows cool colors in white. damp sponge and I've just kind of put a couple of colors on at a time and I want to tap some of that off I want to see the texture of the sponge so I'm going to add that over the watercolor effect. Just dip your water, squeeze. Let's add some blue and some white. Tap that off. And continue. Covering your paper. So you can use paint with a variety of materials. You don't have to have a paintbrush. So I want to have my darker versions of the color around the outside edges. Thank you. 
So we want to create an image of you're looking up from underwater. So I'm going to let this dry in the sunshine and I will be right back. So in order to create shades or dark tones, I'm going to use a black oil pastel or you can use a crayon. I'm going to use the edge. And I just feel like the black paint might be too heavy. I just want to settle. Dark version, just around the corners. After that's done, we have these beautiful cutouts from Cedarhurst. And I'm going to trace around the sea turtle with a pencil. Take a Sharpie I like to outline right inside the pencil line And then fill in, creating the silhouette. Have this cute little mermaid also that I will add I can add if you would like some bubbles I like to do that and I just sprinkle it on let that dry and then you have this beautiful under the sea painting thanks for watching bye